गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम राजेंद्र प्रसाद एंड एट प्रेजेंट यू आर व्यूइंग माय चैनल राज फोटोटेक इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सॉफ्टन स्किन इन लाइट रूम फैशन हैज ह्यूज इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड एंड हैज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड हाउ पीपल सी देमसेल्व्स often clients request skin smoothing edits because they want to appear like the models they see on the magazine covers or online in this tutorial we are going to learn how to soften skin in lightroom some people question the need of softening in the post production of course it is an entirely personal decision but you will be surprised to see how much older people look in a digital photograph than how they actually look digital cameras are brutal they pick up every tiny imperfection that is why a little softening is necessary so that the skin may look natural but at all cost avoid over softening the skin I have seen portraits of mature people with their skin softened and they look like a 20 year old young man never do this when it comes to retouching skin photoshop offers a number of advanced editing techniques while lightroom offers speed and simplicity learning how to smooth skin in lightroom can save your time and deliver result to your clients quickly which they will love Softening skin has a potential to dramatically improve the look and quality of your image. It removes pores and fine lines and gives an overall healthy skin look. Before starting to smooth skin in Lightroom, you will want to give yourself the best possible base to work with. This means making a few adjustment to your photo first. you will want to properly expose your image as an underexposed photo will have more noticeable blemishes and wrinkles to smooth out and also remove acne wrinkles and other blemishes of the skin before proceeding before you move further kindly hit the subscribe and like button if you have not already done it In Lightroom we soften the skin with adjustment brush. The adjustment brush tool in Lightroom is one of the most powerful editing tools. Getting acquainted to its use will let you significantly ex extend the amount of manipulation you can do without having to leave Lightroom. We all know that we can paint colors with brush. But a user asks Adobe that we are using a digital brush so why don't you provide us a facility to paint adjustments such as exposure brightness sharpness with it Adobe as an answer to this request added an adjustment brush in 2008 version of Lightroom This adjustment brush in the Lightroom lets you to selectively apply exposure clarity brightness and other adjustment to photo by painting those to only certain areas of the image where you want it for localized adjustment in photoshop you have to use layer and mask but you can do this in lightroom without using them to locate the softening skin effect first select the adjustment brush icon located in the menu bar as i am showing you or you can press the letter k which is a shortcut to make the adjustment brush panel visible once the adjustment brush is selected the effect menu becomes visible to the right of the world effect you will see up and down arrows click on them to reveal the drop down menu in which you will find many presets select the soften skin preset as i am doing here Understanding the brush tool first is a necessity when you want to learn more about how to smooth skin in Lightroom. The brush makes it possible to brush parts of an image to smooth it out in a manner you can like you like best. Adjusting the size, feather, flow and density of the brush is critical to ensure that the brush is not too strong or weak and is the appropriate size to cover the area you want to smooth. At the bottom of the adjustment brush panel, you can adjust the size of the brush and the feather with these sliders. 
You also have some additional options such as adjustment of flow and density. The flow controls the amount of effect that is applied and density controls the transparency. To make things easier to select, make sure that you also check the auto mask checkbox here which will confine brush strokes to areas of similar color. Now that your settings are correct, you can start softening the skin. To do this, simply start brushing over the parts of the image that you would like to soften. Zoom the image if you need to brush it easily and precisely. Make sure you use a brush size that suits to the job. This means make the brush large enough to cover the area quickly. You can make your brush bigger or smaller with left and right brackets on your keyboard or simply by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Scroll up to increase the size of the brush and scroll down to decrease the size of the brush. A black and white pin will appear where you start brushing and this is an indicator that the brush is active. To better view the areas you have brushed over, select the so selected mask overlay option here, located just below the image. This will apply a red mask. Paint slowly on all parts of the image which you want to soften. Be careful, don't paint over eyes, lips and nostrils. You might notice that there are areas that you did not mean to cover. If you brush an area you did not mean to brush over, you don't need to delete and start over. Select the erase mode here in the brush panel and start brushing over the parts you would like to remove an effect from. Once you have perfected your image, click done. Now see before and after by pressing and releasing the backslash button and you may notice a dreamy softening effect applied to the image. See how we can soften image in minutes in Lightroom. Knowing how to smooth skin in Lightroom will benefit most of the wedding photographers. It can take a considerable investment in time. So it is not something to jump into without practice. Take the time to practice your skills. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you again in the next tutorial. Bye for now. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Kindly subscribe and like our video channel for more interesting video tutorials. If you want to get notification about our upcoming tutorials, kindly press the bell icon. See you again in the next tutorial. Goodbye and have a nice day.